millennia ago, there was only Creator in the heavens and Rai on his fiery throne. Creator spat into the endless void and the seas were formed with Deus as their master. And Creator blew a single word and the winds were made real and Hausha was their mistress. Creator pulled the lands up from the seas and gave protection over them to Dane of the mountains and Dala of the earth. And the creatures came, first of sea and air, and then the great dragons. From the first dragon mother, new gods arose, including Marg, lord of chaos. He created a world beneath the one above and brought forth all manner of demons. His only goal, to tear down this world and create a new one in his own image. From Dane and Dala came the gods of the dwarves and the elves, like Daro, god of precious gems and metals, and Aladdin, god of wisdom, Rolil, goddess of rune magic, and Moon, the blind goddess of the night, bride of Rai. From these gods and creatures, all mortal races came, including fairies and earth folk. And a long history of bargains, promises, trickery, and war ensued. And a constant struggle between order and chaos. The first people, the Montaka, created a mighty empire. But their flirtations with chaos brought it crashing down. Now, thousands of years later, the Montaka are a mere shadow of their former glory, scattered in small tribes and enslaved by colonial powers of the north. Some elves became corrupted by chaos, over time becoming goblins, fearsome tribal warriors, and dark shaman. Whether by demonic beguilement or elf and dwarf interbreeding, humans came into being. They proved themselves to be creatures of order and chaos, capable of great heroism and terrible carnage. Human mages experimenting with chaos magics created the orcs. After centuries of conflict, some became civilized, living in alliance with elves and humans. Marg tricked the dwarves into turning on their elf cousins and starting the first chaos war. When they realized how they had been tricked, most exiled themselves to the south. Only later did they begin to step back into the wider world. Some human priests were fascinated and obsessed with the great dragons and created experiments to turn themselves into the object of their desire. Instead, they became the Shaltaka, human dragons. Small in numbers, but growing ever stronger. And on this world plane that the gods call Nia, literally all the children in the ancient tongue, this great expanse of vast oceans, dense forests, searing deserts, fertile plains, and snow-capped mountains, mortals have created nations and empires, each vying for supremacy. Black powder technology, dwarven steam power, and gnome clockwork have joined practical magic and divine prayer as powerful forces for colonial and personal aspirations and opened the world to exploration. Mystic lands to the east, an empire of fire in the south, island nations and lands of enchantment and death now lie open to the brave. Aeroflight's world setting offers a diverse roster of playable character types Plenty of wondrous lands to explore, ferocious monsters to slay, romance, political intrigue, and adventure. Aeroflight, epic fantasy role-playing.